Well, the weather's taken a turn for the worst, so I'm going to have to complete the, uh, the rest of the video uh, inside. Uh, the acoustics are slightly different, so sorry for that, um, but uh, it's the only way that we can get things done. Here is the plywood piece for the top. It's in effect going to be very similar to the base, inverted. In other words, the plywood sheet is on the top, we will then have battens uh, underneath and then the fireproof board cladding um, attached to those battens. Uh, there's really a couple of things to say at this stage about the top. First of all, that the plywood uh, is like the brim of a top hat, so consider an inverted top hat. It's going to sit on top of the wall, the side wall and the rear wall. The second thing, <coughs> You can see already that we've made, we've drilled two circular holes at each side and, and cut across to make uh, a rather large opening. Now, what that is going to be is a slide so that we can have um, a plug over the chimney and slide it to one side or the other, giving varying degrees of aperture and therefore varying degrees of draft so that we can control the temperature inside the smoker. Now, we're going to put some batons on here next and then we'll come back and clad it. Um, so, uh, back in a few minutes. Right, well we've now put our batons in position, as you can see. So that's now all ready to put the cladding on top of it. However, before we do that, we need to put our little slider in position. Now, here's the slider, and let me show you what that's all about. What we've done is we've taken a sheet of the fireproof board, a piece of the plywood, and on top is a little end of, um, of one of the battens. So in essence, that's our cover, and we will use that to slide over the chimney. Let me show you how it works. We'll pop that in position, inverted like that. We've then got our fireproof cladding, which we will put over like that. Now notice what I was saying about this looking like an inverted top hat. Well, at the moment it looks like a top hat because we need to turn this over. Uh, but effectively the plywood overlaps and this will be where the um, side and back units will, will slot into place. So, let me turn that over and you'll be able to see how the slider works. So there it is, that's how it's going to look from the top. Our slider here, the chimney here. So as we want to control the temperature in the smoke chamber, we can vary the opening of the aperture of the chimney. And of course from fully closed, like that. So that's it. What we need to do now is just screw the fireproof board onto the back of this and then that is the top complete. So, just to remind you, look in the information box associated with this video and you'll find lots of tips, techniques and lots more still pictures uh, with the link through to, uh, to our website. Uh, you'll also find there that we're going to place the technical drawings so that you've got everything to be able to replicate this model. Done. Done.